What do you have anything on this before I move on to I China? Just, I don't see what one has to do with the other, but go on. I took up a lot of time with Fox. Oh, no, it's Asia fine. Before. We have time. I, I, don't, I don't really see what one has to do with the other, especially consider and using the Civil War to talk about black Americans. That war was not fought for black people to have guns. That's 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 not. That war was fought for black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah. Actually, that's why the Civil War was fought. Okay. And the sad but that part wasn't about fought it. For, for black people to have guns, I think. Actually, you know, the funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. And I think that that's black, one of the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. I disagree okay. with you. On it. I think you're doing a disservice well, to our country. Okay. By failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have the quality of black the law skin, to. and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that we have three I, different shades Don, of melanin. I think we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open, regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that compare that to 1865 and 1964, I think to you to compare absolutely it to and have equal rights in this country. Actually, I think it's insulting. Just got out of my interview this morning with Don Lemon, in particular, also Poppy, who he didn't let talk very much on CNN. The remarkable thing is this guy, without knowing an iota of history about what actually led black Americans to get freedoms, is now lecturing about the fact that somebody, if they're not black, can't talk about that history, claiming that black people haven't had their civil rights secured even today as he sits on air dominating the conversation from his co-anchor in a way that it was actually pretty uncomfortable, actually, to be there on set. The thing he missed is we had this debate about, they picked a clip from my NRA speech where I factually stated that the first anti-gun laws in this country were passed in 1865 to keep black people from owning guns. And the reality is black people did not have their freedoms secured in this country until their second amendment freedoms were secured. That's just fact. Don Lemon needs to go study it, but that made him feel a little uncomfortable because it doesn't fit his narrative. So you know what? He actually missed the fact that Dred Scott, which is one of the most disastrous Supreme Court cases prior to the Civil War, actually said that the reason black people couldn't, own, could, couldn't get their freedoms was that they would have the right to own guns. So he's just wrong on the history, wrong all the way down, but believes that the color of your skin determines what you're allowed to say. I reject that view. I think we ought to be able to have an open debate whether or not you're black or not, you should be able to talk about these issues. Don Lemon rejects that view. Frankly, his attitude towards apparently allowing his fellow female co-anchor to speak was a little bit different than mine would be. But either way, this is exactly why we need, as conservatives, to go to the other side, debate them on their own turf, and actually deliver facts and win. And we're going to be posting more clips from that later today. I'm looking forward to that. Because you called it bull when you said people can't, you know, pull themselves up. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't True or date? cannot? Yeah. No. You don't? No. I don't. I don't. Hey, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. Yeah. You know, I said, and it's probably get me in trouble, but I said to some of my colleagues recently, said, so I know that it's an issue, but I've been, it seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race, and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I want to I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Yeah. It's not like it exists, and we refuse to talk about it, but making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have. I disagree with you. I think you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have the quality of black the law skin to. and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we have three I, different shades Don, of melanin I think melanin we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, I think to you to compare absolutely it to 1865 and 1964 have equal rights in this country. Actually, I think it's insulting.